Hello YouTube and happy Friday. I hope everyone's having a pretty good week so far. My name is Matt and I'm in my 30s and I've been contemplating making a YouTube for the past three years and 2023 is finally the year that I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. I'm gonna rip the band-aid off. I'm gonna share some personal stuff with you guys, all of the failures and success that comes along with it and being really candid so you guys can kind of see the clear cut path on what you really need to do to be successful. I'm the same as any of you that are out there. Uh, you know, I, f I hear it all the time from my friends and family. You know, you're feeling trapped, you're working the W to grind, you're working for somebody else. You might be making decent money, but you could be making more. And so I finally am ripping the bandaid off. I'm gonna be switching from W2 employment to full-time self-employed. And I'm gonna be taking you guys on the journey with me on what I do to get there, to be able to be financially free for me and my family to be able to enjoy every day together and do what we want to do. Quick back turn on me, I grew up in Southern California. I lived everywhere from Long Beach, California down to sunny San Diego. Ended up going to San Diego State University for college. Woo, go Aztecs. And uh, when I went to college, I was studying hospitality and hotel management something a little bit more pointed than just going after a business degree. Ended up working for Marriott for about nine years and really enjoyed it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, back in early 2019, my father got super ill. I uh, was in the hospital for about nine months and uh, when he came out, I really wanted to be there for my family uh, to aid in any financial hardships. Uh, so I ended up moving back home with my wife and a daughter at the time. Uh, she was still a little bun in the oven, uh, but we ended up moving back home and I would love to talk about that whole experience. As I mentioned, I worked for Marriott for about nine years and then when my father got sick, I ended up having to quit my job. They wouldn't allow me to work remotely um, and be there for my family. So I ended up quitting my job. I was working a little bit of a part-time gig at the time and took that up full time. Uh, that was my first real venture into self-employment. Uh, had actually two really bad um, first experiences within the self-employment world. Um, I was working for another company, but I was contracted and I'd love to share some insights on that so that way some other folks out there don't have to go through what I had to go through um, in order to just kind of navigate the self-employment and navigate the startup world and see if that's something that you're actually interested in. I have a lot of experience in that realm now and I'd love to shed some light on that for you guys in the future as well. In my tenure with you know Marriott and as well as all of the startups and other companies that I've been uh, fortunate enough to be a part of uh, in one way or another, I keep running into the same issue and the issue always is that I want to be more a part of you know, the actual ownership. I need to be the one to be able to make further decisions and change things when needed, pivot when needed. And so this year or this past year, I should say in 2022, I really sat down with my wife and discussed over multiple weeks the pros and cons to both sides of it. and. Uh, ultimately led me to wanting to quit my job. The last job that I was working, I was a sales director for a recruiting company, making really good money, uh, enjoying it. But again, as I mentioned, there's the stresses of, you know, working for somebody else, bringing in a ton of revenue for somebody else and not really feeling worth anything, just another number. And if you have one bad month, you could be out. And so what I really wanted to do is make sure that this is something I want to do, jumping into self-employment, have a game plan and execute on it. So after multiple months of figuring out the path, what I want to do and how I want to explore it, I finally have a plan and that leads me here to YouTube. I am going to be using YouTube as a method and platform for keeping myself accountable for measuring progress and for again showing you guys the journey of me fully switching from w2 employment with a good paycheck to moving without a paycheck and navigating the self-employment world to generating enough revenue 
for me and my family to be financially free, which is ultimately the goal for all of us. As I mentioned, I grew up in sunny Southern California and I've lived there all of my life going into my 30s. And going into my 30s, I wanted to reevaluate where I'm at in life, what's important to me, what's the best way for me to take care of my family, and what's the best way for me and my family to be able to just enjoy every single day. We ended up deciding that in July of 2022, we were going to be moving out of state. We decided to move to beautiful Boise, Idaho. We've lived here since July of 2022, and now making this at the beginning of January 2023. I am thrilled that we've moved here. Uh, it's a beautiful area, love the seasons. It's cold, but we got beautiful snow every couple of weeks so far and really enjoying it with my wife and my daughter. So for when the uh, journey really began for all of you guys. So in November of 2022, um, as I mentioned, after multiple months of deciding, do I really wanna do this? Am I gonna make the switch? Can I afford to make the switch? Do I have enough money saved? How quickly can I start to make money? Um, I decided that we do have a good enough game plan. There was enough opportunity out there for us to make money and be able to pay the bills and continue on. And we did have enough savings to be able to financially afford that for us to get by. Um, at the end of November, uh, going into Thanksgiving week actually, which is typically coming from Marriott in the hospitality world, I never got that time off. Uh, so we were actually scheduled to go and visit my family uh, my wife and my family down in Mexico. We were planning on going there for two weeks to visit family and to visit uh, some of our friends and join them for a beautiful wedding down in Cancun. Rolling into that weekend, I decided to quit my W-2 employment, go out to Mexico and start to enjoy ourselves, enjoy family time, create new memories, create new traditions with me and my family. We usually sit down with all of my family, eat turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, the norm. We went to Mexico. We had amazing tacos down by the beach and tried something completely new. And I hope to spend Thanksgiving in a new place every single year moving forward, if I can afford to do that. Um, and that's why I'm going down this path is I want to be able to work remotely wherever I am and still be able to make money and enjoy new experiences with me and my family. After getting back from beautiful Mexico, um, I decided to start to pursue my uh, life and health insurance licenses. Uh, you have to you know, take the tests, get licensed and certified by the states, and then get appointed by a broker. Uh, so in December, I focused on that. I decided that that would be a good opportunity for me to use my referrals and network and people skills to be able to slowly build up a large network of people and get residual income year over year and impact lives doing it. The other two ventures that I'm gonna be going into on top of my uh, health and life insurance uh, licenses are going to be obviously YouTube, uh, finally creating my channel. Uh, I want to work with some amazing companies, create sponsorships. Ultimately, I'm utilizing it as a platform to share things with people and connect with people and hopefully open some doors for me and my family in the future. I love sports and cooking and taking care of my family and those are all going to be things that are going to be incorporated into this channel along with the ultimate journey of switching from W-2 employment to self-employment and being financially free. Some different things that you guys can expect from me uh, throughout this channel are going to be some progress reports, uh, updates. I plan on updating you guys every single Friday with my weekly progress on where I'm at, what I've done what the next steps are, if there's been any successes worth sharing, if there's been any failures worth sharing, and really being candid about the process. That way you guys have an insight on if this is something that you would like to pursue at any point in your life and the best way about navigating it. What do you all say here on the YouTube again? You guys gotta do the, the like, the subscribe, hit the notification bell, Tickle me, what is it? All the fun things, right? So do that, help me get into the game here. I would really like to just start being able to meet you guys, see some comments, see some likes, and uh, just enjoy each other's company and uh, progress together and make some money doing it. Uh, what you guys should expect from me from my next video is going to be taking you through the journey step-by-step. Step. So I got my license 
for health and life insurance. And now I'm going to be going out and buying and creating my LLC this week. I'm going to be uh, opening up my business bank account and designating a good uh, you know, checking, savings, and credit uh, for the business. I'm going to be opening up my uh, website and store online and starting to sell some of the products. And uh, that is my ultimate goal is drop shipping. Uh, so I have the uh, health insurance, life insurance. I'm going to be doing YouTube and anything that uh, comes associated with my YouTube channel. And then I'm going to be drop shipping. Um, that is going to be kind of my main focus as of right now will be creating a store, opening a store and starting to get products out there, testing a few different things and really letting you guys know what works, what doesn't work. Should I be going with organic traffic, paid traffic and testing the waters with all sorts of different numbers. And again, just being super candid with you guys. That way, if there's anyone out there interested in doing what I'm going to be doing, you guys have a clear cut path because I know I've watched hundreds of different videos over the last couple of years and I want it to be a little bit more clear for everybody else out there that, hey, this is actually pretty easy. Um, and as long as you take the right steps, then you can drive success for yourself. And it really just depends on how much success you want. Well, guys, I hope this content is valuable. This is my first uh, you know, video. Bear with me. I plan on only getting better, adding more value, adding more content. Uh, hopefully it really resonates with you that uh you know we're all out there we're all grinding people always feel stuck um you know i felt stuck for years and years and years and i'm ripping the band-aid off uh taking a step out of the normal grind and uh trying something new and uh, i hope you guys can join me stay a part of the progress give me any uh, advice or updates or tips i would love to um, i am a huge uh, believer that uh, constructive criticism goes a long way and really can drive success for somebody. So again, I really appreciate you guys joining me today. Uh, I hope you guys have an excellent weekend. I hope you guys do something awesome. And I look forward to seeing you guys next Friday uh, with the next update on where I'm at with opening my own business and any of the success or failures that came in the first week. Until then, you guys go get them and enjoy the rest of your week. See ya. What do you think, YouTube? Is that all right? Is that okay? Throwing bloopers. You want more, you want less. <laughs>